What is zero divided by zero? Is it zero? Is it one? Is it infinity? Is it undefined? We have statements like anything over itself is one. So maybe you think zero over zero should be one. But then again, we also have statements like zero over anything is zero. And so maybe zero over zero should be that. These statements are used so often they're taken as rules. And in fact, they are rules when the denominator isn't zero which it is in this case. At this point, the mathematical community has decided that there's no real good definition for zero over zero and has chosen to leave it as undefined, and for good reason. But personally, I tend to think we can do a little bit better than undefined, and so this is my take on what I think zero over zero should be. When it comes to quantities like this, it's important to point out that they are indeed definitions. They're whatever we choose them to be. So we should strive to pick the definition that makes the most sense mathematically. So keep in mind there will be no proof for what zero over zero is, since you can't prove a definition, you can only choose a definition. Let's also keep in mind we're not talking about limits here. Often when we try to figure out what quantities like this should be, we approach them, we get very very close using limits. But we know from calculus that there are many limit problems ending up with the indeterminate form zero over zero that can be totally different things based on what the limit problem is. So no limits, no indeterminate forms, I'm asking the question if we pull out our calculator and type in zero divided by zero, what should we expect the calculator to say? So what's the real problem with zero divided by zero? Without getting too technical, division is really the inverse operation of multiplication. The way we usually say that is if we have a over b equals c, that means the same thing that a equals b times c, provided b isn't zero, of course. But that's the thing. We're looking at the case when b is zero, so we're going to run into contradictions if we try to use this definition. Since zero times anything is always zero, you can use this to try to conclude that zero over zero is anything at all. Let's try to figure this out. We can start out with just some algebra. Let's assume zero over zero, just call it x, and we're trying to figure out what x should be. Here's the trick. Take the numerator, which is zero, and add zero to it. We can always add zero. It doesn't change this quantity in the numerator. So we have zero plus zero over zero is x. And we're gonna make the assumption that we can still use our properties of fractions. So we can split up this fraction to say zero over zero plus zero over zero still equals x. But of course, each zero over zero is x. And so really what we have is x plus x equals x or 2x equals x. Now that's a pretty cute proof, but maybe you're not so convinced since we actually had to assume that zero over zero was a real number to begin with. Not to mention we assumed that fractions still work like this when we're dividing by zero. If we want to keep our arithmetic rules in place, calling zero over zero x means we have to say 2x equals x. But now take a look at zero over zero plus one over one. If we combine this using properties of fractions, we obtain this expression, and what you'll notice if we just crunch these numbers in the numerator and denominator, we again get zero over zero, which we're calling x. The right side of this equation equals x, and on the left we have zero over zero plus one over one. That's x plus one. Thus, we must also conclude that x plus one equals x. And there is no real number that can satisfy both of these equations. But there is an idea that satisfies both of these equations, and that's infinity. Although infinity isn't a number, we typically think two times infinity is the same as infinity, and infinity plus one is infinity. This goes along nicely with a video I did previously on dividing by zero, where wheel algebra defines zero over zero as the nullity element, which is essentially a stronger absorbing element like infinity. I'm really curious, what do you think zero over zero should be? Let me know in the comments. And if you've ever wondered about zero to the power of zero, click the video right here. I'll see you in that one.